Good morning, tubers. Happy Cinco de Mayo. It is May 5th. Uh, been asked to give a, an update on what I'm doing in here. It's been about a week, so figured I'd do that real quick. Um, I guess we'll start off with uh, the squash. There's squash and zucchini in there. They have really started taking off with the heat. I dropped the curtains because it has been cold at night. Had a little cold snap here, like most, you know, most of Central America, USA did. Most of Midwest has kind of come into a cold snap. Got a little cool and got down into the upper 30s, and I didn't want to lose any ground, so I dropped the side curtain. So it's about 100 in here. Uh, and I may have to start the fans up, and I'll show you that in just a second. That's a new feature that I've incorporated. Cantaloupe are, you know, they're just now starting to take off too. They really rely on the heat. I have not done anything with that bed. Uh, the herb bed is also still pretty much open. Um, there's just very little going on in there. And I still have the wood over here to... Um, start working on the rest of those uh, raised beds down there uh, but as you'll see I have um, a new uh, suspended cooling system uh, actually circulation system not really cooling uh, I've got two fans situated in the middle suspended about eight feet off the ground uh, and there's a bar behind it uh, back here uh, that'll have two more and then I'll have two on the other side of where I was just standing, um, uh, circulating the air. You know, it's going to be going in a circular circular motion. One fan's going one way, the other one's going the other. Uh, and I don't want to make this a long video, so let's just get right to it. This is um, all my starter plants. I've got cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, uh, squash, more melons. Um, peas, beans, they got a lot of stuff to replace um, what the deer have devoured out in the garden. Uh, and it's a muddy mess out there right now. That's the other part of this. I've been asked to update that as well. Um, I'll show you a little um, clip once we get out there. Uh, I'm not going anywhere near it. I'll just have to show you what it looks like from a distance because it is... It's pretty pretty muddy. In the rock wool here, um, you'll see back behind here, uh, I've got the lettuce started and the kale. I still have some butter crunch that has not popped, cabbage and spinach. Uh, those are going in the cracky beds. I got some more tomatoes as well in here. Uh, this is new. It's something I'm working on. Um, it's a Dutch bucket system, and I'll explain more about that at a later date uh, but I do want to show you this is what you have to have to make a cracky bed system you have to have a return line to bring your nutrient system back to the reservoir you need the reservoir uh, obviously then you'll need um, a grommet which is on the top of each one of these uh, buckets you'll need the, uh, some kind of bucket to put them in a one grommet two half inch elbows and a half inch piece of PVC to put in between. And there's, Bobby's got videos out there. I've got a video out there on uh, how we put them together. Uh, but um, there's something else I wanted to show you. These elbows are like 46 cents a piece if you buy them separately. But you can get them in these 10 packs, the contractor packs, for about $1.97 for the whole pack. So that's definitely the way to go. Especially if you're going to go, you know, making quite a few of these uh, and it takes two for each one so and I've got a lot more buckets down there lady's supposed to give me about 40 40 more of them here in about another month so I'll have a lot of hydroponics going in here um, I want to show you this too that in this one bucket I've showed you this before is vermiculite and it is performing seems like it's performing better I'm not getting any algae in there I've had that open the whole time and that plant looks healthier than any of them here's the next largest plant I have 
Here, let me just move this off. It's not nearly as full, and I don't know that it's as healthy looking, but, uh, you know, all of it was pretty bad with that first batch of, of nutrient solution that I put in there. Um, my plants were struggling. I changed to the jungle juice, the micro and the grow, and everything looks much better. Uh, nothing in the uh, cracky beds yet. That's coming. I wanted to show you this. There's my micro and grow solution. It takes about uh, about a half a cup of each one of these for 30 gallons. Uh, you mix them equally. And you can hear it running now. But this is a timer I have. It's set up. It's a 24 hour timer. I've got it set to run one hour eight times a day. And uh, I filled this up with about 30 gallons of water two weeks ago and made the mixed the nutrient solution it has not run out uh, and I have 13 buckets on this system so those are uh, I think they're about 10 bucks or so at Walmart those little timers and it works really well all right I'll show you what we have as far as uh, the grow bags I'll try and wrap this up oh here's the other thing uh, my um, this is my compost system. I'm, I'm getting ready to incorporate my compost solution into my irrigation solution. And I'm not sure really how I'm going to do it yet. I've got a splitter because I can't, I don't, I cannot make it any more clear. I don't want this in my water supply. So I don't want it backing up. So I have to find a way to get this into my irrigation system without it backing up into my water supply, into my well. So um, I'm working on a system right now to keep that from happening. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, I'll have that for a uh, video here sometime next week because I'm tired of watering all this stuff manually. Um, I have some tomatoes actually on my plants now. And I can show you that here. Let's see. If I can get down in here. Sorry about that. I accidentally turned my camera off. Anyway, there are some tomatoes. Uh, these are um, Parks Whoppers. I got two of them there. Um, got a couple over here. Uh, there's a little guy there. And there's one right in there. Uh, if you can see that or not. There you go. Um, there's, a, there's another one over on that other plant down there. Uh, that's a... Um, that's a Goliath down there at the end. Um, so I'm 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 starting to get excited about the tomatoes. I also have some some little baby peppers on here. Uh, those things are starting to pop over here. So um, we got some things that are pretty exciting uh, happening in here. It's a little hot. I need to kick those fans on, and I'll. Give you an update on what's outside in just a second. Okay, here's a garden. And that is the beginning of Lake Finster down there. It's a pretty low spot. And there's a lot of water in it. Um, but anyway, the corn, you can see the corn in the rows. Uh, let me see if I can get it a little closer for you. There's corn down in there, along with a bunch of weeds. Uh, there's beans and peas all down there. Uh, the Second to the last row is brassicas. And there's quite a uh, there's 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 actually some food we can start eating on down there, from the cabbage and uh, lettuce and kale. I think collards maybe. Anyway, uh, and the potatoes are on the last row. Anyway, that's a that's a quick update on the. Uh, garden out here the tomato plants are doing really well out here now finally kicking off uh, so anyway I'll head on back inside and uh, wrap this up all right I've kicked the fans on I'm gonna make put a few of these together if I can stand the heat out here for a while uh, anyway just want to tell you God bless, we'll plant some dirt and we'll
We'll see you next time.